Today we are going to unbox Belray Clean and Dry Flow Cleaner. It's uh, suitable for most of the surfaces. Carton has a few pictures about the key features uh, of the product. The main one being the uh, removable uh, brush bar and then yeah, it talks about uh, how it's suitable for hard floors and kind of uh, have, uh, have an illustration for the suction. And it talks about the uh, storage uh, tray that they have and also the swivel head. To be honest, the swivel head is a bit on a tighter end to maneuver. And then uh, it talks about the dirty water tanks and the clean water tank that uh, that's available. Let's take a look at the side. Yeah, here it says that yeah, this company's uh, in market for 150 years. I think this is a UK based company. And it says that buy me and plant a tree. Jumping on to the technicals, it talks about the suitability of the flow cleaner on the variety of the floors. It says that it's good for seal, timber, vinyl, tiles and laminates. My house is on the top floor, it's, it's fully Sealed timber. I think it's sealed, but let's give it a try later and see. And it talks about some of the features, uh, like cordless and rechargeable. Yes, it comes with a inbuilt battery, so it's easy to use once it's charged. And it says uh, it's, it has a 30 minutes operating time. And then it has the dual tank system and uh, a removable brush bar. And more technical stuff here comes with the 2.2 volt lithium ion battery. Takes about three to four hours to charge. 25 to 30 minutes of operating time dual speed boost function um yeah, a couple of water tanks clean water tank and dirty water tank and it says it's suitable for uh, all the floors and it comes with a storage tray like uh, it has my minor spillage so storage tray is useful all right Uh, let's get ahead with unboxing. Mm, yeah, three to four places where we need to remove the seals. Maybe, yeah, on the top and bottom as well. Uh, it's nice and compact. It comes. Uh, in a folded condition out of the box you get a AU plug for charging that's a tray We can pull out the mop or dry cleaner. Yeah, since it comes in two parts, we need to uh, latch it first time. And then it's kind of ready to go. But yeah, we need to remove the covers and whatnot.
it's not too heavy maybe i don't know maybe two to three kilos max i guess or even less yeah just three parts yeah uh, measurement wise up to the handle it's around uh, up to the handle it's about 70 centimeters and with the handle it comes about 115 centimeter and yeah this is the on off function with high low inbuilt like the first time you press it's on the second time you press uh, it goes to the power mode on the back we have the, we have the water release uh, button mm. it's all right to move back and forth We can see the brush rolling and let's keep it aside and take a look at the water tank so this is the clean water tank it's about half a liter I guess like 500 ml or 450 or 500 I'm not too sure um, yeah it comes with a safety valve or like it comes with the inlet valve very nice and transparent yeah holds about um, give or take half a liter of water it's easily maneuverable like oh, you can operate with one hand and let's peel off the stickers here and that's the dirty water tank We'll show how to open it later. Let's quickly check on the back. Uh, we can see the model number of the product. Uh, on to the side we see the charging port. And on the bottom, we can see uh, a few holes, I think probably for water spray and whatnot. Uh, and then uh, the brush itself. And I have a very good feeling about this. This might do a good job on shiny porcelain tiles and things like that because yeah uh, the blade is made of rubber so it, it gives you the squeegee effect when you roll it across the floor and on the top um, you can put your finger and gently uh, pull the top cover off and we look at that later so this is the no, dirty water clip yeah just click it and pull it out it'll come off right away uh, it's got two clips on the side this one and that one um, Yeah, if you remove both the clips, the top cover will come off. And it's pretty transparent, very easy to look at uh, the tank capacity and whatnot. And this white thing is the float, uh, which essentially blocks... Uh, water intake if if the dirty water tank is already full 
it just blocks the inlet and yeah it's got um, a little, little bit of filter there I mean for for collecting bigger particles and whatnot yep. yeah, again it's easy to use uh, able to operate with one hand Ideally, I'd say that, you know, use two hands for safety because these products could be brittle if you drop it. Uh, could be hard to find uh, spare parts. And this is just a, a product tag. Let's take a look at the user manual. Yeah, it mostly says about the do's and don'ts. Product safety information, maintenance information, whatnot. And product parts list. Twenty two parts are there. Honestly, you don't even need to remember all of them. Yeah, here it says about the first time use instructions uh, about uh, fitting the handle onto the main unit. And it says it takes about four hours to charge for the first time. Now looking at the next page, uh, it talks about instructions how to empty the water tank and cleaning the roller bar and things like that. Honestly, it's easy to use uh, after the first time. First time, it'll be a little uh, difficult to understand what goes where and how to use it. But once uh, you start using it, it'll be all right. I'll probably put another video on, you know, uh, how, how I use it day to day um, so that it's, it's easy to see um, how things go and where. And the last page uh, talks about some of the other cleaning tips I guess and troubleshooting tips all right I think that's pretty much we've come to the end of the video uh, yeah here it says that uh, you need four hours or three to four hours to charge so see you after four hours Let me charge it up and see you after four hours. Uh, this is how it looks like when it's charging. It blinks. All right. Okay, let's see you on the next video on the demo and how to use the product. Thanks guys, take care.